Today I'm talking to Luba Balagova, the founder and president of Sochi International Film Festival and Awards. Luba has 11 published poetry books and a PhD in literature. She has international medals and awards for films, screenplays and poetry. And she's on international boards for music, film and literature festivals. Luba was born in Russia and is currently living in the UK. She's been active in the creative world for the past 30 years, starting her career in Russia and continuing to Europe, the US and the Middle East. Welcome Luba. You have 11 published poetry books and a PhD in literature. How did your literary career cross over into film? In Russia, we were shooting a, f a film in North Caucasus. If you've heard of uh, Chechen Republic, Kabardina Balkarian Republic, so in the mountains, Caucasian mountains, it was in 1999-2000, around that time when there still was war. Okay, so it was uh, um, not an easy time. However, my husband decided to bring a project to Kabardino Balkarian Republic and uh, it was uh, very impressive. Uh, it was connecting British actors like Julie Cox and um, Russian actor like Andrei Chernyshov, who is super famous in Russia, um, and uh, making an artistic film about a Caucasian violinist, Circassian violinist. And it was an amazing subject. Uh, it still is, I think, because, uh, you know, USSR is one system, one subject where every artist has a job, every, if, you, if you're not working, it is your fault because there are jobs available. When USSR falls apart, uh, what happens with musicians, with artists, they're not prepared to turn to, from a communist system immediately to capitalism where you have uh, to put so much effort to prove, to sell yourself, to get a job. And it was a devastating period uh, for Russia. So the film is about that. Now, what happens? The war happens in Chechnya. Uh, we have actors, international uh, team in Kabardino balkarian Republic. Um, and we had a German producer who's supposed to travel to Kabrina Balkaria, but things went uh, wrong way. And uh, she was suggested by her embassy not to travel to Russia because the war was going on. <laughs> I just jumped into this project just to support my husband in this amazing project because it was like a message to the world, to the world that still doesn't understand what happened in Russia in the 90s. So it was like really something. Now, I jumped into it uh, and my diploma comes from that film and from that experience being a producer. And then we continued. My husband didn't want to you know, find another producer anymore. He said, okay, you're going to go next film. Let's do it. So that's how I ended up. Uh, in uh, producing films, but I, I had an amazing, amazing story. This story that touched my heart with so many uh, similarities in British and Russian societies, because British society is a multicultural, multi-ethnical society, just like Russians. It's just there are there so many subjects about female destinies. You also judge on art panels across the world. I've noticed the change in dynamic on the Sochi Board of Judges over the years. There seems to be far more female judges in recent years. Was this a conscious decision? I feel that Russian-British Sochi International Film Festival should give place to more women. Through centuries, it was unfair that women were a little bit moved back by the strongest part of our society. We have different angles, okay? So I like to invite men as well. I, I like to make it really from uh, all uh, prospects, 
to be judged. For example, this year, uh, co-chair uh, from the Russian side, N Natalia Bandarchuk, who played uh, in Solaris by um, Tarkovsky, very famous actress. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the British side, Frances Barber, who is now playing in Hamlet. She um, has few very successful films like Doctor Who and I mean it just happened very spontaneously. Okay. And um, yeah. So a natural change. As we're coming out of the pandemic, Sochi Film Festival is returning to full programming in person. What are you most excited for this year? I'm very excited that we have wonderful films in the program, very strong film directors, producers, and uh, I'm very happy that I have films from Britain. Seven Hours on Earth by Patricia Sharp from Britain. In the main program, about seven debut films. Uh, and that is um, important because the film is supporting younger generations, bringing in with new stories, uh, we want them to feel that film cinema is becoming like books today, that uh, that place also had in 2014 the Olympic Games. So that means Sochi was opened to the world as an Olympic capital. And then I thought that, yes, if I want to make a film festival, international Russian-British film festival, it has to be in Sochi, not in Moscow, not to associate with Kremlin, or it's not in St. Petersburg, also not uh, associated with revolutions. Uh, it, um, it has to have another uh, association, another image. And of course, I couldn't find a better place for it rather than Sochi. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>